G'day guys, I'm Mortal Gaming and welcome to Ghost Recon Breakpoint. This is the sequel to Ghost Recon Wildlands, a series that I did quite a little bit ago on the channel on uh, Extreme Mode, which was the hardest difficulty. And we were in Bolivia fighting like El Sueño's guys and it seemed a little bit easy. So this game is the direct sequel. It is set on the island of Aroa, out somewhere in the Pacific, and we're dealing with drones. A lot of drones, because Ubisoft just seems to have this weird relationship throwing drones into all their games now, and they're not joking around with these ones. Some of these ones can get extremely dangerous, which is something that we're going to just, uh, you know, we're just going to have to deal with it. So I'm going to start a new game, and it's going to be the difficulty that I'm going to set, which is just going to make life life harder for myself. And now we get to this lovely screen. So yes, we can either play the game on, arca on arcade, which is, you know, easy mode. Uh, regular, which is standard. Advanced is what I was thinking about doing, but considering the fact I played Wildlands on Extreme, I felt it was only wise, or possibly stupid in my case, to put the game onto Extreme. Simulation mode, a realistic scenario for rem remarkably tactical players, which obviously isn't me. So we're starting the game on Extreme and it will be an Extreme series. And, and yes, I'm going to play this game solo. So I played the beta and I didn't get any AI team modes. So I hope to hell I'm getting some at some stage. Welcome to Aurora, the incubator of World 2.0. My name's Jay Skell, and we've been expecting you. You've been invited here to innovate, to invent, and to create. But we're also asking you to do the most important thing with your lives that you can do. Here, away from the rest of the world, we will build the tools to lead the planet into the future a completely sustainable economy, a blossoming environment, safe homes, security for your family, and a community where innovation is celebrated. The generations that come after us may forget all about us, but they will thrive because of the work we do here. Thank you for joining Skeltech in a world. Together, we are building tomorrow. The USS Say is mysteriously sunk near Aurora. Unable to establish contact, the CIA Operation Greenstone has launched, and I am the leader of 32 ghosts, which I have no idea where the other 28 came from, but apparently we just had them back at base. And this screen right here, this is where we go. We are going to choose our character. Yes, full customization. And I am definitely going to customize this appearance. I want to go with a male nomad. And that's the starting face it gives me. Okay. So this is like anything else. You can choose a face that you want to go with. There's lots of different ones. If you want to go for a Dwight Taylor or a Vasily. I'm going to go for generic, because I like the scar on the left side of my face. I'm also giving my character blue eyes, because why the hell not? Uh, hairdos, I will probably give him something along the lines of, you know, not something silly. I've got to look at this guy for like the next 40-something hours of this game. So let's just give him that hairdo, and we'll also... Tell you what, we'll increase the beard as well. Now we have to pick a hair colour. I've noticed too, with the dark hairstyles, that sometimes when we get in, I'll have to show you this, but sometimes the hair colour turns on the, a little bit on the, uh, on the grey side, and I don't exactly know why, so we're still gonna go with it. And the classic facial details, so I will just give my character... where is it? There it is. I'll just give my character another scar to add to his other scar on his other side of his face. 
And that is the character I want to start with. Would you believe it, however, being a Ubisoft game, it always is going to start with a good old helicopter crash. So yes, welcome to Aurora. What a welcome this is. We got shot down by a bunch of drones. Something of which we will uh, learn about much later. But welcome to the injury system in this game. So if we go into our weapon wheel, we only have bandages at, bandages at the moment. Bandages are how you heal critical injuries. So see down the bottom left, I have one bar out of three. Now I need to heal myself with bandages which includes a very slow, very costly uh, animation here that you don't want to do during combat for reasons I will get into later. But this is the only way I believe... I'm not an expert at this game, I've only played the beta like everybody else, but this is the only way of healing those types of injuries, I think, unless you get a perk later. So this first section, I've done this quite a few times now. So, I, I know at least where I'm going and what I'm doing. So, we need to head over there to where that chopper just crashed. Because those... That that uh, drone swarm is... Uh, it's not to be fooled around with. If we head over here, however, to where all these flares are... Yeah, this is kind of the, uh, the respawn site. Uh, what happens if you die. Because the first time I did this, when I played beta... I immediately went down there, two guys came out, I attempted to, uh, you know, shooty shooty at them, and they kind of shot me, and I kind of died within probably about 30 seconds. So, very embarrassing all up, I've learnt since then, they won't ever do that again, but... There are a bunch of syringes in here, which is how you heal normal injuries, uh, not critical ones. Once that bar turns red, you have to use a bandage. But stims are basically good for everything else. There is so much that I need to explain and so little time. So let's just head up to here where these two guys are. So those guys just blew the crap out of that bunker right there in case anybody was hiding in it. These were the two guys that killed me, so 
You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get some damn revenge. I've gotten my revenge several times over by now, but it's still funny in order to do this. So you will have an option here to go prone camo. We will do that later, for now. It's time to stab a fool. And yes, the, uh, the neutralization techniques that you can do now are quite nasty indeed. And I also got some frag grenades out of that. You can just die. They're very nasty, but they're very juicy at the same time. I will not lie. So if we just go into that bunker we just did, there's certain amounts of stuff that I want to do here. I'm not going to run off and do like every main mission as it pops up. Because I do have things that I want to do and I have like places I want to explore. I only played the beta. I like there is so much more of a map on here that I want to explore. So we're going to be mostly exploring things like together. Also, by the way, if you see a crate like that or any other crate that has that symbol, you need to go open it because it will give you a new weapon. And hopefully the game's going to be kind to me here. And the game didn't want to be kind to of me there, and in fact, it's given me something I don't think I've ever used. It gave me a 416. Have I ever used that before? I don't know. I had a feeling when I wound, wound up recording this, I had a feeling that the game was not going to give me a Tar, or a Tavor as it's known in this game. It's given me that like twice, and now it's just decided, screw you. Shit. Soldiers. Yes, Nomad, they're all dead, like this unlucky fella right here. Damn it. Rest in peace, generic face, your name will never be known. Like, I have a semi-good idea of what I'm doing, I think. Like, I'm, I, for the first, like, hour, I reckon, until we finish, like, the first act, which is this mission I'm in right now, I will probably just run around and collect stuff, but the idea is with this game, if we go into here, you have a gear score. You get better gear, your gear score goes up. So, you know, sort of investigating and exploring, that's all gonna have to be part of what I'm gonna have to do if I want to level up Nomad. Or otherwise, I'm just going to get shot, because Extreme Mode is not kidding around. Right, there are some guys over here that I can get rid of relatively easily. It might actually help if I could find out exactly, like, this this gun, because I don't think I've used it in this game yet. Where are you two? You two are right here, so if I can just sneak out. Get rid of you two. Scun feels alright for now. To be honest, I'd rather have the tar. Much rather have the tar. I knew the game would screw me over the second I started this, damn them. Also, you have a sprint bar down the bottom. If you if you exhaust that bar, you become exhausted and you start getting fatigued. Which is some other stuff that I'll have to explain after this first mission. Because we get a lot of stuff once we make it to our first safe house. But, I have droned around here before, and I have figured out where some crates are. So, we need to go in that direction, but I know for a damn well fact that there is a crate over there that might contain something a lot more useful, and I do know there's a crate here, but it is guarded by a bunch of dudes, so we can take them out pretty easy. So long as I don't get into open contact, I'm, like, combat, not contact. I should be pretty alright. And yes, you also have boots, uh, face gear, leg gear, and shoes. That you can also get as well that up your gear score. So, well, I just need to identify these four losers. Who are these guys? This place. They're out here, they won't last long. What type of machines do they build here? They must be huge. Uh. You guys see absolutely nothing, and your dipshit buddies over here are going to see even less. Okay, I like this gun that I've been given. I think it's the four. Ooh, an M4A1, you say? Hang on, is that even. Is that any better than what I'm using now? It is actually worse. Alright then, I guess I'm sticking with this then. 
Now, heading into this massive ass building down here, I think this area is a. It's an airship air station. Long since, like, long past its prime, but, like, look at that. This game's very, very pretty. I like it. There are some more guys in here as well, so need to be at least a little bit careful. Uh, where are you guys? You're actually scaring me. You're not in the positions where I thought you were. There they are. Two of them over there. Let's just sneak around them. And there you go. There's my first level up. You want to explore as much as what you can in this opening section. I mean, the game doesn't really force you to stay to a path. I can stray pretty far and still stay on this mission. But we'll do leveling up once we reach our first safe house. What is this going to give me? That is going to give me a hat. So, I'll tell you what. That's better than actually getting a shitty ass helmet, even though... Wow, that's 11 already. That's actually really good. And I will put the vest on as well. That's actually surprising. The game hasn't given me a tar, but it didn't give me a disgusting ass helmet that looks ugly as hell. It actually gave me a nice little cap. I'm happy with that. Some of you have got to be alive. Well, you're kind of right about that, Nomad, but they won't be alive for much longer. Storm clap at 1 1. This is Weaver. Come in. Over. This is Weaver. Come in. Over. Anything? Who got? Contact. Contact. Are you doing? And there you go, there is Lieutenant Walker, our antagonist that seemingly everyone agrees with what he's saying, which is not entirely how villains are supposed to work, but each to their own, I guess. And these lovely people with the red skulls hanging over their heads, these are called the Wolves. These are Walker's elite troops. I assume they're like former special ops or something. Uh, I don't have a sniper rifle, and I'm not I'm not going to touch them. Because I would not survive not even probably 30 seconds if they found out where I was. So I'm just getting, like, right out of here. I guess if you found a sniper, I guess the game does give you a sniper along here, but I think it gives you, like, down there. I don't actually know if you could take out those guys with a base level sniper, because these guys are, like, level 150, I think. So, we're, we're sorry about Weaver. The good guy has gone down. There's uh, two left, though. There was a squad of four. Weaver was probably the most sanest out of the bunch. So, we've lost a true friend right there. But there are even more guys down here. Luckily enough, they're spreading out. So, it shouldn't be too hard to take them out. Just aim for a headshot and hit. Hit you as well. See, this is all going really well. I've planned some of this out. However, once I reach the point where I haven't started planning stuff out, I have a feeling I'm going to be dying a lot of times in this playthrough. I just smoked a ghost. First kill of the day. These guys eat shit. I don't know what everyone's worried about. You just better hope to God we kill them all. You should be worried about the ghost that's sneaking up behind you, you stupid idiots. I have no idea when Nomad got, like, 28 other ghosts. I really don't know where they came from. I mean, why didn't we have these guys in Bolivia? Bolivia would have been a cinch if we had that many people. But there is... Oh, there's a... There's a lot of people here. Um, how am I dealing with you lot? 
You guys are just gonna sit there and be idiots, aren't you? Or you're waiting on your commander. I think these guys split up, so I might just wanna, like, wait here until they move again. Nothing's alive after all that. Don't count these guys out. If any of them did live, they're gonna be hella pissed off. Oh, damn straight they are, and one is literally right behind you too. Uh, oh, shit. There we go, I got some boots from a travel too. I'll put them on much later, don't need to worry about that right now. You are just, uh, where are you? Okay, I feel like I can take you out. And then I'll swap back over to my- Hey, there's no way anyone could survive a crash like that! Poor bastards never stood a chance again. There we go there. You know, little tactical, but uh, yeah, that's going to go out the window really fast. And in this crate over here, I think the game gives me my first sniper rifle. Yes, yes the game does, and it's the sniper rifle that I'm wishing I hadn't got, because I think it's a bolt action. At least I think it is anyway, I don't know anything about this. So let's put that on, and also, I forgot, let's just put on the new ranger boots to up my gear score. Mayday. Mayday. This is Ghost Lead. Does anyone read? 5 by 5 Ghost Lead. Who is this? A friend. I got the radio from a ghost. This ghost still breathing? Ghost Lead, you can chase the white rabbit. Or run with the Red Queen. Give me a sit rep. I can wait. Your man's getting medical treatment. Follow the trail behind the ancient ruins. Your destination is in the mountains between two waterfalls. Understood. Go sleet out. So there we go. We have our next destination. And uh, it is a long way away. We have to go here, but the actual place is like... Uh, um, um, it's, it's, it's somewhere. I can guarantee you it's somewhere. It's just now I can't remember where exactly where it is. So if I remember rightly, there is like a crap load of guys up here. Yes, there is. And I think there is a commander as well. So we might want to get rid of him. But this is where the prone camo will come into it. So if I can just like get over here into a position, we'll go into prone. Let's cover myself in crap so I'm hidden. And now we just start letting fly. See, there you go. These guys don't know exactly where the shot came from, so they're all taking cover behind some trees. Uh, these guys are getting a little bit irritatingly too close. Okay, I need to hurry up because uh, this is going a little bit slowly. Get rid of you. There's just one left. I need to take him out before he hits something. There we go. Yeah, you can see there, my health went down irritatingly fast. So I, I seriously just cannot engage people like that at a short distance. If I was closer up, they would have straight up killed me. I have no doubt about it, they would have straight up killed me. So, I feel like we should get out of here before any more of them show up. And we have a selection of vehicles that we can use. We have the, uh, I believe that is the vehicle that replaced the Zeus in Wildlands. And the Zeus was just, the Zeus was amazing. We also have, like, a buggy if you have more people and a bunch of motorbikes. Now, I will have to warn you, on this route back to the, uh, back to the hideout, I will be stopping multiple times, because there are multiple areas along this route that have, like, crates in them. And as I said before, gear score is everything, so I need to investigate literally any, I, like, any location that I can, including this one. But I do see there is a bunch of people up here, so I don't really want to aggro them. 
Instead, I will pull out a sniper and snipe one of them in the face. His buddy has no idea what's happening, and he's dead as well. So, yeah, there is one crate over here, and then I think I remember the path that I want to take. I think. There's like nine different locations I want to head to to grab some gear. Scale credits are also something I will explain later. They get more explained when you reach the, your actual safe house location. So, we're coming up on our first location. Yes, I will be stopping. I know I've said that, but I need to re you know, reinforce the idea. Because the more gear I get, the faster I let, like... The faster I do, do my gear, and, you know, the faster I can start doing things. What's in this? Come on, give me something good. Give me something good. It's a pair of boots. whoop de flip and do Now, Intel. Intel has changed since Wildlands. We are no longer just, like, going up and, you know, photographing little papers or anything. Intel is very, very useful in this game. So, we can gather a whole load of stuff. You'll have, uh, Biovax, which will be explained later. You'll have attachments, weapons, uh, intel, locations, like, literally anything. So, I will grab the intel for AK-47. And that is in the Fen Bog, so we don't need to worry about that for now. We have also discovered a new province called New Ar Argyle? Argyle? Something like that. But, yeah, new destinations, I, I, I will probably just, you know, cut in between them. There is where base is. I knew it was around here somewhere, and yeah, we get a, we get a lot of stuff for completing that mission. But, give me the crate. Give me that sexy crate. What's inside the crate? Better not be more clothing. No, it's skull credits. That's possibly even worse. Well, fine. I'll head down into this lovely little cave down here. Potentially, I may need to turn up brightness settings a bit, because this is a little bit dark, but whatever. I can do that later if I need to. I will also grab the attachment for a DMR. I am using one of those at the moment, so that would be good. That's in New Argyll. Uh, let's go over to that. Where, where is that exactly? The eastern part in the fish processing center. Uh, okay, the fish processing center. Remind me where the hell that is. Oh, it's in there. Okay, yeah, that can, that can, that can get left. You know, I've been in that place before. It's not friendly. You get shot at a lot. Come on, I have to get something good out of these crates. Hey, a good old MP7. Something I'm... I, I don't even know if I'm going to use submachine guns, to be honest. I mean, I'm more of a shotgun person myself, but we'll, we'll have to see. Anyway, let's get back onto our bike. And yeah, you'll see I'm picking up, like, a lot of stuff on the ground. There are, like... I assume they're doing it sort of like, uh... I'm assuming, like, Far Cry or something? There's a load of stuff, including, like... Yeah, these plants right here this is a good example. There are plants, there are rocks, there are a whole different bunch of stuff. So you can pick this up and there is actually some crafting in the game as well, which I actually like, because, yeah, Wildlands has been, like, Wildlands was missing, like, a lot of this stuff could have been added into Wildlands, and yeah, would have made the experience a little bit better. Wildlands was just a little bit annoying in terms of, like, when you shot an enemy, they knew exactly where you are. You shoot an enemy in this game and they don't know where you are, it's actually hilarious. Because they're all running around, hiding in bushes and crouching behind trees, trying to figure out who shot their buddy from long range. But there are two chests here. Two chests here, and I believe there's also, like, one or two guys in here as well. So, I might need to, like, get rid of them. Oh, there we go. We got a 516. Okay, I have no idea what the hell that is. It actually does worse damage than what I'm using now. Uh, what is that? That's like a 14. That's really good, but no. No, leave it. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Oh! There's the guards. I think there's a lot more than what there is, so I might need to hurry this up. Come on, let's take, let's, let's photograph some pages. 
Yep, let's get the, let's get a biovac location. Apparently, there's over 50 of these things in the game alone, so that's going to be fun to find. That's low, Nomad. You never st stab a man in the groin area, okay? That's very, very painful. Uh-oh. I killed a civilian? Excuse me? Oh, yeah. Bullet penetration is a thing in this game, me. Down in yet another cave site, we've got yet another crate. Try and find as many of these as I can. I got some pants! Because pants are obviously the thing I'm after, game. I mean, I do need more gear. That much is always clear. But come on, give me a new gun or something. If anything, give me like a... Nomad. Come on, buddy. We've been over this. You have to drive the car, okay? I have no idea at what point you actually get AI teammates. But, um... Yeah, apparently it's like some point. I don't think of... Oh, God. Okay. No, 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 no. Let's let's just not do that. Oh, shit. Yeah, I do not want to be detected by these douchebags. Eat a frag, fellas. Look at that. Look at that frag. Do a fancy little roll and... Yeah, you saw just how fast my health just got melted off there. It is not going to be fun once I run into a heavy, okay? It is just not going to be fun. Also, I will take their car. I have a new pistol, apparently, so I will equip that. I am also getting skill points, yeah. This is the other reason why I wanted to come out and explore this much. Because I am getting skill points. I'm leveling up. That just means I have more skill points to work with than what I would if I would have just went straight for base. So there is an area down here, but stuff it. It's not too far from the main road. We can always get back up there. Uh, I, I, I think there's just a chest down here. Yeah, just one chest. I mean, nothing great. But one chest could mean the difference that I level up or not. And there is some intel here as well. So I'll grab whatever this is. Oh, it's a disgusting helmet. Yeah, I think I can leave that off. And I will also investigate some intel. And get another biovac. Coming down below where this fancy little waterfall is, we also have another hidden cave inside here. We're getting closer to where my objective is. I mean, I am only 450 meters away. I don't have that much left to actually find. Oh, well, hello. There's an MG. So, I, bel I think I've had that like three times now. So, there is a definite LMG in this cave area right here that is just on the top of Lake Mary. You can get a lovely LMG there for your first starting weapon. So if you're an LMG person, that is possibly a good location for you to find. Hopefully I find a better sniper soon though. I, I would love something with like a little bit more kick. But let's just take this car and get out of here. We're getting closer. I think I only have, like, two more locations that I need to go see. And we should be alright to head back to base. Actually, I tell you what, this will be the last location I do for now, because there is a homestead just in front of me that has a side mission that we can do once we get out properly into, uh, into free mode. So, let's just, like, reverse and go back up the hill. Come on, game. Work with me here. I've seen you get up steeper hills than this. And welcome to our official first home base of the game. Welcome to Erwan. Which I am going to assume at some point in this game, this place will be attacked by either the wolves or someone else. Because when isn't a base in a Ubisoft game ever not attacked by the, uh, by the antagonist? We all know it's going to bloody happen, alright? It's just only a matter of time. Stop right there! Who are you? I was invited. Who the hell are you? Another one. 
You can always turn around and go back down the mountain. Things are a little tense, you know? Just watch how you handle that weapon. We don't allow shooting in Erewhon. And what's Erewhon? A cave. So we call it. Get in. You know, don't, don't worry. Not all of Erwan is going to flash a light in my eyes. So Erwan basically acts as like, I would say it's like the hub in like Division or, you know, you would have seen it by now. Basically, this is a massive open area, which you can see now. See how it's all beautiful and lovely with all the god rays coming down. This serves as... What is this place? It's called Erwan Nomad. I thought you would have... I thought you would have picked this up before now, man. Come on. All the players that are online currently are all in uh, here, running around, like, going over and talking to people, which we're going to have to do in a second. There's a lot of dialogue coming up, so prepare yourselves. Are you boys all right or what? The only two left in our chalk. No radio, no drones. Between the two of us, we got two rifles and eight mags. Locals got water here. And some supplies. Can you believe this place, man? God damn. My mind's blown. Yep. And they're friendly, more or less, but they're still keeping us on a short leash. You boys know what took out our birds? No clue. But there are definitely hostiles out there. Tangled with some troops out there who are calling themselves wolves. You know who we're dealing with? Now you're dealing with me. You the one in charge here? Who's asking? My call sign's Nomad. I'm the officer in charge of this operation. By operation, I assume you mean the massively wild screw-up. Hey, old man. You playing nice? I'm just trying to find out why a bunch of grunts are falling from the sky into our laps, honey. Well, someone sank a naval cargo ship off the coast. Then the entire archipelago overall went dark. Now, we were sent here to figure out what happened. Next thing we know, the choppers were taken down. Almost half of my soldiers are dead. Best we can tell, there's some kind of military takeover. Sentinel, military contractors, they put this place under martial law, using the old boot in the neck technique to enforce it. Skeltech is still making all the high tech stuff they always make. Except maybe now they're making more weapons. Not exactly the libertarian utopia J. Skell advertised. Where can I find J. Skell? Ah, uh, the head of Skeltech himself. Mm. We haven't seen him, but. His drones are keeping an eye on his islands. So you think he's still a part of this? I'm just not sure why. All right. Well, I'll put figuring it out on my to-do list. For now, I see our wounded. Yeah. One of your guys needs to rest, but he won't shut up. Calm him down, yeah? And then come find me. I'll give you the guided tour. Now, I would advise you to think, who are the original team of Midas, Weaver, and Holt would you think would be in the med bay and wouldn't be the one that would shut up? Just think on that for a second as we head over there. We have a weapon location, but we'll do that in time. Now, I will say there is a uh, blue icon over her head at the shop. There is a set of tutorial missions that you get to do. There's a set of four. It teaches you how to... Find a weapon, find attachment, how to equip said, uh, said things, level up a weapon, and I think there's also, like, something else at the very end that I can't think of at this time, but I swear it is there. But anyway, if you, uh, if you answered the question to the previous question about who was here, it is indeed our the three 
Good old Halty Boy. Halty Boy survived, but he is in a very bad way. Oh. Hey. How are you, man? Nomad. Who's left? Who made it? Hey, you just relax, pal. I'm doing what I can. You damn superhero. Ugh. Here. Here's another superpower. I can't find Midas. But Weaver... Relax, pal. We'll take care of it, all right? And the wasp. Yeah. And with the comms blackout, I can't reach the ship. But I'll talk to Mad Shells, the big guy. He might have a boat I can use. Don't you worry. I'll come back with some help. Go. And there we go, we have completed officially our first mission of the game, which also is the first act, which is kind of weird. We get some binoculars, we will get a water canteen, and we also get our lovely drone friend now we can use to uh, survey around. So, let's just go through all the different tutorials on how to do all different stuff. Yes, we, we, we all know this. There is Ghost War as well, which... I may or may not do. Let's just see how the main story goes first. And yeah, 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 yes, I know. I have to go in here. Then I have to pin that to the to to the board. There we go. So this is our mission board right here. Up the top, we have uh, stuff for Maria. That's mainly the tutorial missions. We have where to get weapons, where to get attachments. We have investigations, which we'll learn about later. Collectibles. To the right, we have uh, faction missions. I haven't really understood most of that yet. And then to the bottom, uh, to the left actually, we've got uh, Ghost War, but we'll learn about that later. Plus raids. Raids are another thing that we'll probably have to learn about later when we get more powerful. Down the bottom is our mission list. We have side missions on the right. We have our main operation in the center. And this is also interesting. We have walker that we can go after and i am not kidding apparently the game is saying you are allowed to go after walker from day one once you reach uh once you reach air one all you have to do is find walkers uh officers and interrogate them for the location when i was playing uh because i did a little bit of a playthrough before i started recording i actually found one of his officers and got them to talk so, I'm not necessarily too sure if you can take out the antagonist before you finish the story. It's, it's very weird how it, how it is, but I kind of like how you can do that. You just go after Walker immediately and just say, screw everything else, screw the drones, I'm going after Walker. So, let's just go through what else we have. We all have, like, different stuff. You've seen all this list, and I'll just swap over to the new pants and also the new boots. So, I'm full up on that. Next up on the list, we have our skills. And now that I'm in Erwan, I feel like it is time to pick a class. So, there are four classes. We have a Field Medic. You know, self-explanatory. We have Assault, which gives you extra health and bonuses and also a gas grenade. You have Sharpshooter, which is also pretty self-standard. And then you have Panther. This is basically like a sneaky sort of, I, I guess, person. And it's also the first class that I'm going with. I have a cloaking spray that renders me undetectable by drones. I have bonus stealth, faster movement speed. The best part is all these four have an ultimate. Uh, I don't know exactly what that one is. I don't know exactly what assault is because those two I haven't went into. 
Field Medic is uh, reviving yourself, and Panther, you basically create a smoke screen you can use to basically ninja vanish your ass out of anybody. So I am buying that. And that has opened up our first set of skill trees, and there is a lot of skill trees. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So, we could get a parachute, night vision, perks are something that I'll explain later once I get some more perk points. Probably not this video, but I am going to go for a straight up XP bonus. Just so I can start leveling up just that little bit faster, because I want to go into some certain trees, because there's a lot of stuff in here that I'm going to need to get. Also, you can customize your, like, appearance a lot more. You have some facial paint, you can have like a tattoo that I will obviously put on. There we go, Nomad's tattoo. And then if you go along the list, you have access to your gear. You also have access to accessories as well. So I'll tell you what, I will put an earpiece on. Uh, I don't want to change any more of that. I will also like put a, a ting right there. And that's all good. And then you have like figures. I am not entirely too certain what these are yet, but you can have, like, the Nomad from, like, the cover art. Come on, reach, reach Nomad. There we go. There's the original Nomad. So, I have no idea what these are, but I may actually go for the Nomad eventually. Like, just to have the original Nomad. So, you know, this lady right here, whose name I can't remember, Maria or someone, she said she was going to give us a tour, so we better go speak to her real fast. You ready for... For your personal tour of Erewhon? Just don't forget to swing by the gift shop. Never. <laughs> bang, bang! <laughs> now the naval station closed down years ago. Who are these kids? The birds and the bees, Nomad. We've got three generations living on this island. If I can be blunt, I don't like you soldiers being here. It puts these kids at risk. But my old man bleeds red, white, and blue, so we'll never turn our backs on you. I can sort you out if you need any gear or supplies. You and your troops can bivouac over there. If you really get to feel froggy, you can talk to Sergeant Rowan Brown. He used to be Kiwi SAS. He likes scouting around the island for those elite troops. They call themselves wolves. Rowan likes picking fights with them. And over in our war room, we're working on our own logistics. You can usually find Mads in there. There's a Skeltic engineer, Jericho, hanging around. She's worried about something big on another island. You might need to bring some friends with you on that picnic. So like I said, we will never turn our backs on you, but you better not do anything to put this community in danger. Oh, I think you've got a hunch it's already in danger. But don't worry. I'll do my best to keep all of you safe. Let's hope it's enough. And there we go. There's the start of the tutorial missions that we have to do. So she's got more for us to do as well. But we'll leave that for now. I plan to do a couple of those because it is going to throw me into locations where I want to go. So before we end off, I'll leave the next main mission to the next part. So before we do that, let's have a look around. So she said we can bivouac over here. Welcome to How to Camp in Ghost Recon. So, bivouacs are those locations you've seen me collecting. In here, I can either do preparations, which is uh, basically doing an activity that will give me a temporary buff. So, if, if I was to eat or drink, however, there are different things I can do there. If we go into tactics, it's going to allow me to change my class. If I had a second class, that is. I don't, so I can't do anything along with all my gear and everything else. The crafting section is what I said before. When you actually, like, you can pick up stuff in the wild, take it back, and you can make stuff out of it. So, 
I don't actually have anything there that I can create, but there are multiple different things we can use. And I can also craft rations, which I can eat on the go when I'm out in the field, and they give, like, a very temporary buff. It's not as good as what the preparations are. And then I can gain access to the shop and the garage, but we'll worry about those things later. As well as changing the time as well. So the shop is right there. Behind there where all those players are standing around doing crap all. That is where you find uh, people for co-op. You can go speak to Halty Boy over here. Uh, Ghost War is behind where the bivouac is. And if you talk to them, they'll... I don't exactly know what. I haven't exactly done any ghost warring since the since the game started. I will have to go do that at some stage. Now, down here is the operation center where you can find mads and expand the story. You'd also see there's a bunch of orange. Uh, those are side missions, which I will be making an attempt to do, because, again, it levels me up. But that, that's basically it for now. Until we start gaining people, we don't unlock anything new. So, this is where I'm going to leave this video off. This will be a long video, but I wanted to try and get as much in this place out of the way today. So then that way, next part, we could just start going out and exploring. So I have a lot of things to do that I want to try and do in the second part. You know, try and, try and at least get through the little boring parts like this. Walking around talking to people now. And we can start doing some stuff next time. So, part two will uh, probably be coming out probably closer to part one. I don't think I've figured out what I'm doing for this yet. But part two, we're, we're going to be heading out. The next mission will take place somewhere around up here. So we're going to make an attempt to basically go and get a bunch of stuff, including that weapon thing, and making our way up to there. I want to try and at least do maybe one main mission a hit each each part or something one or two because there is a lot of side missions and just for uh just for saying it this is the entire map at least for now there is a section over here but i believe that is coming out in the year one pass including egg island i have no idea what that what you know what that is what's it doing there but that's it for now i'll just explore like these regions we'll try and level up as much as possible because the more gear score I get, the faster I can go do stuff. I can go fight behemoths, wolves. For now, I need to cower and hide behind rocks because uh, I don't have a lot of health. Don't have any good guns. I'm probably going to die a lot in the next part. So this is where I'll leave this part off of Ghost Recon. Drop a like, leave a comment, and I will see you all in the next video.